Alright guys, before we start the video, it's been brought to my attention obviously over and over again that everybody wants studies. Studies, studies, studies. What is the science behind BMR4? Now, you're probably not going to find it unless you dig. And I don't think many of the people out there that have contacted me has, have dug very far. Because what they're finding is like those on the surface ones that basically are like, you know, calcium proving by itself, etc. Now, what I'm going to do is the description box below, put the links to the actual studies, okay? And the first one that's in there is the calcium proving one, which says that um, scientists have shown that research by themselves, meaning Peruvi by itself, does not show much promise. However, when combined with other compounds, something could show the increased performance effects that, it, it shows the increased performance effects. Now, what they did in the study was actually creatine and Peruvi. They used Peruvi on its own, it wasn't very promising. Creatine on its own, and they tracked the progress of that. Then they combined them both, and they found that the Peruvi potenated the creatine. So now they've actually looked at other compounds and found that cr the calcium Peruvi increases and compounds the effects of anything else that it's taken with okay very important right now the second was the l-carnitine which um um this study was journal of physiology um it was titled boosting fat burning with carnitine it said that carnitine doesn't only help with weight loss by itself carnitine but also with muscle performance and recovery times right um it says it all could also could help with depression issues which is kind of interesting right now these are actual studies that, i mean nobody's questioning l-carnitine the, the seven keto um, flat out, they said that there's no evidence that it has a strong, this is the third study down there, no evidence of a strong influence on the thyroid or thyroid hormone levels. However, Texas A&M College of Medicine published its findings that the basal metabolic rate has, was actually increased, okay, by using the 7 keto. So they're saying it's not the thyroid, which that's technically, you know, other studies have said it does increase thyroid. This one's saying it's not. However, even if it doesn't, it still increases basal metabolic rate. This is that study there. The Google steroids were, uh, the study here was the therapeutic effects of Google steroids and uh, constitute, okay? Cardiovascular benefits, Runtang 2007 is the um, the uh, uh, the study, right? It says it also, not only does it increase thyroid activity, also lowers cholesterol and has an anti-inflammatory effect. Now, these studies are out there and they're actually not that easy to find, which is why many people, I think, um, are asking me, is, hey, well, Jerry, there's no science behind it. There actually is science, there actually is studies. And these things have been around for a long time. Like some of these studies, 2007, um, this one was 2012, this one over here was 2000, or 1999, which was the calcium pruvate one, which they found it actually potenated other things. And it's not a secret. Like none of this is a secret. Um, it's out there and there are other studies to back it up. These are the ones that just were the most interesting to read and easy to understand. So without further ado, there's the studies. They're down there. Please, oh, by all means, take that and cut and paste them. Google them, check them out for yourself. They are out there and um, without further ado, here's the video. What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So tonight, this is a, a, a video kind of kind of a back and forth thing that I've had with CJ from Price Plow. Now, um, actually it'd be pretty cool if I went on their channel too. He's yeah, all for that me to go on there, but I just figured by the time it gets set up and stuff, I could just do this one and you know, we'll figure it out in the long run. So CJ made a revisited video to the BMR4, which CJ, I appreciate. Now, before we even start, I want to say this. CJ, you are bad fucking ass. Plain and simple, right? The fact that you stand your moral ground and will not be swayed in any direction and you're just doing your thing, is what I respect because that's what I do, right? I don't uh, agree with everybody following the crowd and you know clicking up in gangs. I don't agree with that shit. I don't agree with people just doing shit because that's the way everybody else does it. I don't agree with that. People doing their own thing, you know, pioneering and blazing their own trails. That's what you guys are doing, and I agree with that. Thank you, and I thank you for the video. The way you broke it down was exactly what I want people to see because there was a few things that were left out from our emails that um, I don't think that. Um, I think that should have been put in there, and by leaving them out, it takes out some of the context of everything that was going in, and it still makes, honestly, makes me and the company look kind of bad, you know, and I know it's not your intention, and um, I'm going to interject and tell you a couple of the things that were left out that now I think people just need to know, because it's just, it's swirling around the bowl, it's just a giant bunch of bullshit, but one of the things was that I did not want to disclose this because I have a friend, and I have mentioned him before on... Um, in videos talking about androgen receptors and the overflow of these other receptors that act like androgen receptors. Now, nobody, and I mean fucking nobody in the fitness industry talks about this shit. It doesn't matter what kind of drugs they use. They don't have any of this fucking knowledge because it comes from NIH, okay? I live in an area, um, Bethesda is like literally two blocks from where I train all my clients. And in my gym, I have access to 
lawyers, doctors, pro athletes, professional trainers that train professional sports players, you fucking name it. And one of the things that I have access to is a chemist and not a chemist from the fitness industry, not somebody that's involved in the fitness industry, who he works for NIH. He studies metabolic stress and that's what they study. I've also had a client that does, um, does um, brain science, basically. It's neuro, um, neuroscience is what she does. They study the brain, right? I had, um, it doesn't matter who else. Anyways, it's, bottom line is NIH is there and they do a lot of studies that not necessarily are published, but they're trying to learn more about metabolism, metabolic stress, etc. And they do a lot of shit that nobody talks about. So over the years, I've known this guy and I see him in the gym and we talk and stuff, etc. Well, it is what it is. And I started making these formulas and I started taking them myself. And BMR4 originally had like five or six things in it. There was Three of them, I think, that I took out of there that just didn't fucking make any sense. And one of them actually was fucking green tea and stuff that didn't have stimulants. And I thought by adding it in there that, you know, that would be like, oh, it'd make it so much better. It's not a thermogenic, etc. And I was taking these products, right? Again, again, you didn't tell people this where I actually bought the products individually. The ingredients, calcium pyruvate, 7-keto, L-carnitine, which is very easy to get, and Google steroids. I bought them independently and started taking them myself in told my clients, this is what we're doing. If you want to try it. So it was already tested on me and my clients. Now, here's the thing. Many people, they go after the studies, after the studies, after the studies. It's 2018, like you said. And I think throughout the years, I have fought back against many of the studies and the science crew. And I am a bro, right? I like the science stuff and I don't really understand a lot of it, but I am a bro and I want what fucking works. Okay. And a newsflash, many people out there, especially people follow me, don't give off fuck what literature says. They want products that fucking work. They don't care about the science. When I was with Primeval, they were like, we don't, like, we had the fucking, like, different, the, like, the, the links and stuff for different studies, and people didn't give a fuck. They just wanted the products, and they wanted products that work. They don't care. So, rather than be some kind of, like, pseudoscientist, which I'm not, I don't fucking follow the studies. I took the formula, I said it really works well. I took it to my friend who's the chemist, who, by the way, thinks everybody in the fitness industry is fucked up. He's like, they're quack fucking scientists. They're quack chemists. Now, He's not talking about the gorilla chemist who's fucking on the ball, and that's my boy. What's up, Brian? But by the way, he like he doesn't want any involvement with this shit whatsoever, but he'll listen to me and he'll help me and he'll talk about things. And he told me to take things like the green tea out because he goes, they literally do fucking nothing for you. He's like, it's a complete fucking waste. It's gonna jack up the price of the product. Don't put it in there. Now the seven keto is expensive as fuck, right? What also you're not telling people is those studies that are done on independent nutrients, just the calcium, just this, just that. Synergy. CJ, synergy. That's what we talked about. The sum of the parts are greater than the equal than the whole. Basically, each part, by adding them together, there are no studies on 7-keto and calcium pyruvate. However, there are stuff that they have done at NIH with those things. So they already knew about them, right? The L-carnitine added to it. It's a transporter. You don't need 1,000 milligrams. You don't even need 500 milligrams of L-carnitine to get that effect with those combinations. Like, these are things that I get from the actual chemist that tells me, I've been taking this and this is what it does. And he says, this is why it's doing it to you. This is what's working. Get rid of this other shit. This is the core four. That's what he called it. The core four that are actually doing the fucking work. And I was like, fuck, are you sure? And he's like, I'm telling you, absolutely. So what we did was he formulated it. I get the beta test of fucking capsules and started taking them. Lo and behold, it works the fucking same without the green tea and the other bullshit in there. So I guess I should have left the green tea because if I had four other fucking things in it, people go, oh, BMR8, I love it because there's eight things, even though the other shit didn't do anything and probably would have jacked up the price even more of the fucking product. So as I'm taking it, same thing happens. I take it within 20 minutes. I'm warmer. You can feel yourself. Right now I'm sitting here and I'm still warm. I took it this morning. You go to the gym. You're fucking warmer while you're training. It's fucking ridiculous. You're getting the immediate effect of feeling it. Like you can feel it work when you take it. And I'm sitting there going, this is fucking going to be amazing. I'm so happy. Like I had an actual chemist fucking come on there and tell me everything that I needed to do and what I should get rid of and fucking confirmed it. And I'm like, this is amazing. I can't wait to go. And I put it out and then you get things like this where people are talking about it's overpriced. It's this, it's that. And another thing about the price, you said, you know, seven keto is an expensive compound, which really does jack up the price of the product. And one of the things that you left out again, these big companies are buying a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand fucking units at a time. When you're buying that much, they're probably only paying fucking half of what I'm paying for the fucking bottle. If I was paying half of what I'm paying now, the price would be half. I don't want to make a fucking million dollars. I'm trying to do my fucking best to bring products to the market, make people go wow and get fucking results and enjoy their fucking life. I'm trying to make them better individuals as a whole. But that's not going to happen if I'm only buying 300 units or 250 units at a time. Like the price is the price and there's nothing I can do. And I can't even, like you said, I'm going to keep it direct to consumer. That's because I have to. Like I can't put it in the stores. If I put it in the stores, they're gonna either make the money or I'm, you can't, there's not enough for everybody to go around. That's how fucking expensive the product is. And I completely understand if people like there's cheaper fat burners out there, 
Absolutely. If you look at it, you know, or if people look at it and they say, oh, I can't really justify it. Absolutely. If $40 is a lot of money for you, I don't want you to buy the product. I don't want you to buy the product if you don't believe in it. I want you to buy the product if you actually know what the fuck is going on. And hopefully I've explained it enough. And, you know, it is what it is. Like, People are going to say studies this, studies that. I mean, there's been a lot of fucking things. I've read studies that say basically the best way to train is like this. For muscular hypertrophy, the best way to train is like this. Best way. I mean, there's no one set way. So it's like I step back and I'm like, do I really give a fuck about studies? No, I don't. Did I read them? Yes. Did I wonder why the fuck people weren't using these combinations in their fucking supplements? Exactly the reason you said. The cost. Even the bigger companies if they're buying these products, are going to fucking charge the same price that I am. There's no fucking way unless they bought a fucking shitload of them, which maybe they would. Maybe they'd buy a ton of them. You know, working at these other supplement companies, I've seen how many fucking giant fucking loads that they get of this shit. And I'm a brand new company. We're two weeks, less than two weeks out right now of the fucking company being running with the supplements. And people are already bitching about the fact that it's not growing. They're already mad that I can't get it to the UK. They want it. Like I'm sitting there going, I'm doing the best that I fucking can as an individual to make this thing fucking run as smoothly as possible. You know, and I um, I just kind of want to address this too. Like, I don't think that you specifically reach out to bash people, CJ. I really don't. Um, you have been very critical of me in the past and you've been critical of everyone else. So it doesn't like, it's not an individual thing. Like you're coming after me and I want you to understand, I did not group you in with those guys. That's not what I was trying to do. All right. I was talking about them. And when I talked to you about things that was in the past, there have been some things that you said, it wasn't critical. It was downright kind of rude. And I, you know, we've gone over that, you know, and that's what I'm trying to, what I was trying to get at in the email. It's like, there are things that you've said that wasn't just critical of my supplements. You bashed me in general, you know, you kind of made fun of me a little bit, like, that's just how it goes. But you got to understand, if you bash someone and make fun of them even a little bit, that shit doesn't go away. Like, people remember that. And I remember that. So, of course, you got these other guys fucking hooping and hollering and being a bunch of pack wolf assholes. And then you're saying stuff that in the past you've been more than critical and just kind of made fun of me for certain things. It's not grouping you into it. It's just saying, look, you know, this is what you've done in the past. Is it the same thing now? You know, and you clarified it. And that's cool. And I have no problem with coming on Price Plow. I fucking, I applaud you for going through everything that you did and spending your time to do a second video, which you did not have to do. You could just left the other one up and said, fuck Jerry, I don't care. But not only did you get back to me in emails and you discussed things, but you actually stuck up for me against the other guys. And it really has nothing to do with um, supplements. It really doesn't. To be honest with you, like there's lots of people out there that could be like, you know what? It's not a good supplement. People will figure it out. It's cool. But that's not what's happening already. Already, people are taking the supplement and you can feel it work right away. Just like those stem products, you feel the stem, you feel the heat from this product right away. And this product is for the people out there busting their fucking ass in the gym to keep their thyroid healthy. This is a product out there to help you burn more calories in the gym and at rest and you feel it when you take it. Like it, it you know, it boggles my mind because maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me and, you know, people that follow me. Maybe it's not for the general public. Don't buy the product if you don't understand it or you don't agree with it. I absolutely, I completely understand. But... You feel the thing working. And when you feel it, like, what are you supposed to say? Well, I feel it working and it works good. But studies say this. It's like, that's not how it works. The first study that I see that combines Google Sterones, fucking um, 7 Keto, Calcium Proofing, and L-Carnitine that says it doesn't work, I'd be like, fuck, I fucked up. There aren't studies out there because they're not doing it. So that's where the chemist comes in. I say, hey, this is what's going on. This is what I've done. And he says, yep, this is why you're feeling it. The other shit's not working. Get rid of it. And I was saying, like, okay, so now listening to an actual chemist who works for NIH to get rid of the other shit, I'm getting my balls busted because there's only four things in it. You only need those four things. You don't need other things. Half the fur burners out there that you, you know, said, oh, they, you know, L-carnitine and stuff, they only need a couple things in it. But that's what they do. They manipulate the public by throwing so much shit in there that costs nothing that people think they're getting a big bang for their buck. Guess what? Those people are still fucking fat, okay? Years go by, they're taking fucking these fat burners, they're still fucking fat. My goal is to make people go, Fuck it. You know, I, I want to try this because this is what it does and it's supposed to do this. I'm going to use this. Let me see what's up. The first dose you feel, that's pretty fucking motivating. When I got that first dose from the fucking lab that was everything all set up without the fucking green tea and shit, I was so excited. I'm like, fuck, I still have that feeling. And what he was, the chemist was right. This is fucking amazing. I can't wait to bring this to market. I was so fucking excited. And guess what? We've sold almost three quarters of the fucking stock in less than five days. OK, so it's like I get the fact that these guys are pissed or everybody's hooping and hollering, whatever the fuck is going on. But the bottom line is it gets results. And that's what people want. They want fucking results. They don't care about studies. I mean, there are going to be people out there that are all the big science people, but half of them don't even use supplements. They're just into the fucking science. A lot of them go by science and they use the supplements. They don't make gains. They don't make changes. They're the fucking same. 
So it just really boils down to whether or not you understand that, or they understand, or everybody understands that taking a one product by itself, right? It's like taking protein. If you take a scoop of protein, you get an effect. What if you took a scoop of protein for 40 to 50 grams of carbohydrates from a carbohydrate powder, and now adding a, um, a fat to it at the same time, like coconut oil and MCT oil or something? What happens now when you have three things in there instead of just one? Okay, or let's say you take five scoops of protein, right? Which is like a certain amount of grams. Let's say you took just one scoop of protein and filled up those other grams with fat and carbohydrates. What happens now? Those three things are gonna completely change how that works and there's less of the protein in it. However, the carbohydrates and the fat spare the protein. See what I'm saying? Like, it, it blows my mind that people nowadays, they just, they look for a study and they go, I don't understand, so fuck this and fuck that. It's like, that's not how it really works in real life. In real life, things work. Things, combinations work better. Like, taking one cc of testosterone and taking fucking 40 different compounds is gonna have a different effect than if you're taking one cc, correct? Right, well what if you took fucking 30 cc's of test and then that would get an effect, right? Well what if you took one cc and 30 other compounds? Still the same amount of cc, same amount of milligrams, different effect, right? So hopefully this will explain a little bit to you guys and I, like, like I said, I thank you and I'm willing to come on your show absolutely hands down. I agree with what you guys are doing, I like what you guys are doing, I like you guys in general and I appreciate the feedback and being stand up because you know what? Being a man and being stand up in this day and age is a rare thing, CJ. Thank you. Biology training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biology.com. Document the blogs. CJ, thank you. Bicep, and we are.